what they charge. E J O. E business, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. Don't mess up my drink. Where is it at? Oh no! Drop my drink. All right. Anyways, all right. <laughs> Move this right here, cause I know I was about to mess it up. You feel me? Okay. All right. Anyways. All right. This. Hold on, man. Look, he about to knock over my stuff, man. Screwed over. All right. Anyways. Now we in. All right. So. I was gonna make this two videos. Well, guess what? I'm making it one video. So, this is gonna be the top ten rappers in Africa, and it's gonna be the top ten underrated african i mean rappers in africa okay so top 10 that i feel is gonna be in it all right is i feel it's gonna be um uh, i'm sure casper will be in it calligraph uh nasty c casper nasty c and you know what? AKA, yeah, AKA will be in it. And I'll stop right there because I don't know. All right. You know, I'll stop right there because I, I honestly don't know. But I, I guarantee those four people that I said are going to be in there. Um, for underrated, I have a feeling they're going to put a Reese in there. All right. Anyways, look at All right. Here we go. This is the first one we watching, all right? This is top 10 African rappers. Let's go. Niggas really asking why I be so cocky. <laughs> you should ask your sister why I be so cocky. <laughs> there are countless rappers in Africa right now, and each of these rappers claim to be the best, but only a few actually do walk the talk. Welcome to oafro.com. I'm your host, Murphy, and today we are counting down our picks for the top 10 African rappers with the baddest flow. If you are new to the channel, we got some pretty sick African videos on the channel every week, so smash the subscribe button if you are in for some serious jaw dropping videos. Now, let's begin. Kicking off the list at number 10 is Falls. You the kind of babe where I got Never heard of it. Club, you did, where it be chassis. Foss is one of Nigeria's biggest rappers. He describes his style of rap as what's up music. What music? Not found. Well, Foss defines what's up music as the fusion of comic lyrics with contemporary hip hop Yoruba accent. The famous Nigerian rapper was once ranked number 9 on Not Just OK's list of the top 10 most gifted rappers in Nigeria. Your pastor, they go, only they abroad, but you still they pray in the name of God. The article describes how Force is able to maintain a thought and get his point across in 16 bars without switching accents. Do you remember Charlie Gabino's This Is America? This is America. Falls This Is Nigeria's version was deemed one of the best among the rest. What? This is Nigeria. Look how I'm living now. Moving on to number 9 is Calligraph Jones. Calligraph Jones is touted as the only Kenyan rapper who has a flow as quick as Twister of America. This is getting interesting. Calligraph Jones music comes in abundance. He literally doesn't sleep with his rap game. Because of his fusion of different beats and rap style, Calligraph Jones music charts go beyond Kenyan borders. Some of his popular rap tunes include Superman, Beat It, and Testimony. I like Calligraph. Calligraph is cool. I like him. Just like most rappers on today's place, Calligraph Jones' beginning wasn't a smooth one, and you can easily feel that through his bars. At number 8 is AKA. Alright, I, I know who AKA is. I don't think he's all that. Alright, anyways, let's go. I don't think he's all that because I feel some of his. I don't. It doesn't matter, alright? Here we go. Let's go. All right, I'm sure some people might be upset I said that, but hey, let's go though. Depending on who you're asking, AKA is proud, egocentric, dramatic, but he still remains one of South Africa's finest rappers. I like AKA this song. AKA has right four here. studio albums to his name, with the latest one being Touch My Blood. AKA's rap style is laid back, something you can listen to while sipping on some coconut juice at Miami Beach. 
At number seven is Black Bonnet. Boss so dope, I'm getting high of my own supply. I'm Black is a Nigerian rapper currently signed to Warner Music Group in Africa. Black Bones, only heard one song from him. And it was um, when Calligraph, Calligraph, he made that diss song towards him, Best Rapper in Africa, where, yeah, he murdered him. You know, and Black Bones tried to come back. That wasn't all that, you know, but never heard Black Bones, all right? Best rapper in Africa, they call me that for a reason. I'll shine whoever dropped this. He has been labeled in many media houses as one of Nigeria's new gods of rap. For someone who claims to be the best in Africa, his delivery is actually nothing short of that. Down. Headline, mainstream rapper is now underground. Shut the fuck up, do you know who you're talking to? I'm a his rap style is dirty with many comic lines that will get you wanting more. At number six is Jovi. Hey, this is killing me. Oh, only heard him one time for a very long time the cameroonian music industry has been ruled by only two genres that is makosa and bikuti jovi could be counted as one of the very few cameroonians who are pushing hip-hop in cameroon a step closer to that of ghana nigeria and south africa jovi broke many records in cameroon when he released done for parts the song was loved and well played all over the country after don't for quiet then came cash another very successful hit jovi mostly raps in french leave us a comment if jovi is one of your favorites and number five is mi the first four what am i even on this verse for oh i get it when you stick a knife inside a wound mi's impact on nigerian music industry cannot gotta pause that right there all right i don't really know anything about him until I heard his diss, I heard Shadow Boxer diss him. And Shadow Boxer, he came pretty cool. So I'm going to have to check out MI though because I am curious about him. To be overstated, he has been responsible for bringing out many upcoming artists like Final, <laughs> Whiskey, Viper, Jesse Jazz, <laughs> Ruby, Pipe, Ice Prince, Brymo, and the latest one being Calligraph Jones. He has been described by many Nigerian hip hop fans as Nigeria's hip hop messiah. MI's flow is kind of laid back, but punchlines so strong they break bars. And number four is Ice Prince. Hey, I'm so contagious, and no one's done this good for ages. I put my foot in hell courageous. Pan Shak Zamani, better known as Ice Prince, is a Nigerian hip hop recording artist and actor. He rose to fame after releasing Ole Ku. That song is dope. Ole Tell me something. A song that remains one of Nigeria's most remixed songs of all time. He won the 2009 NAC Artistry Club Tour. His debut studio album, Everybody Loves Ice Prince, was released in 2011. It was supported by three singles, Oleku, Superstar, and Juju. These days, some people when you call friends, shook hand for your eye and they no sense. In 2013, Ice Prince released Fire of Zamani. As his second studio album, Ice Prince raps mostly in English and when it comes to his punchlines, man, they are unpredictable. But three is manifest. You find a rabbi in my pants. Really? I was being safe. <laughs> Can I get another chance? Manifest is a fast rising Ghanaian rapper whose choice of beat and rap style is totally unconventional. <laughs> Despite being a rapper for only a few years, he's managed to collab with most of Africa's biggest artists. In Ghana, Manifest is known as Sarkodie's only rival due to a beef that resulted in these songs to each other. What's the king to a god MC? Number two is Nasty C. Nasty C is the youngest rapper on the list, but rap wise, man, he's one of the best. We're supposed to Junior, you told her you don't love me. She posted about it, you dummy. He's All dope. I ever did was love Born in Nasty 1997, Nasty C has won a couple of awards in his home country, South Africa. He remains the most streamed hip hop artist in South Africa today. The young rapper has seen several features around the continent. It's a different type of party. Book a table for three and buy matches for three. Nasty C might look young, but his bars are well packed with puns, metaphors, and alliterations. And now at number one is Sarkodie. What? Sakodia continues to be known worldwide as Africa's fastest rapper. 
born Michael Ogusu Adol, Sakode has won many awards than any other artist on the list. Sakode raps in both English and Chui, but mostly in Chui, his local dialect. He isn't a rap OG in Ghana, but he is probably the only one defending the hip hop genre in Ghana right now. Uh, I can see my shorty from the driveway. Do you agree with our list? Leave us a comment down there and also do remember to share this video with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Catch you in the next one. Okay. What? I thought Casper would have been number one. I thought Casper would have been in that for sure. Hold on. Now, that I find that to be kind of weird, to be honest, because I heard he was like one of the biggest stars in Africa, point blank, period. And okay, I'm shocked by that. All right. Anyways, so that was the top 10 right there. Let's look at the top 10 underrated. So, yeah, I know A Reese is in it because I saw him in the thumbnail. A Reese is dope. Every day you get headline. If you talk them, I'm a tie, then go back style. If it's them two plus two, then go get five. If this song. Africa has many fine rappers that could easily rub shoulders with top American rappers, but. Most of these African rappers haven't been able to gain word recognition yet for reasons we cannot quite put a finger on. Welcome to OR for today. We're going to look at top 10 underrated rappers in Africa. And as always, feel free to tell us what you think about this list in the comments. Let's begin. Oh, Afro. Number 10, Seaboy. Never heard of him. This is Seaboy, the hooded rapper and producer. He recounts being homeless with his family, sleeping in both metro stations and state housing. As you would expect, his trials and tribulations can't be heard in his lines. His debut album, Special, which comprised of trap and Afrobeats, was a hit. The hood he does to hide his identity hasn't stopped him from being one of the most talented but yet underrated French rappers out there. Number 9, Big Trio. Never heard of him. Big Trio found fame after his song Pate became Kampala's latest cut phrase. Big Trio is an extraordinary rapper from Uganda. He's known for his pace control when it comes to rapping fast and slow and for blending the western element of rap to the African vibe of music. And of course, not forgetting his lyrical strength. Big Trill should be up there with the big boys, but unfortunately, that's not the case for this talented Ugandan rapper. No. Commercial. Number 8, Vizo. Never heard Another of Another artist so underrated is Vizo. Vizo is famous for many hits, especially Zaka. Visa belongs to two countries, Botswana and South Africa. The YAMA award winning artist boasts a record of working with greats such as Gemini Major and Shego. It's rather unfortunate many lovers of hip hop don't know about Visa. Number 7, Ladi Po. I don't have to quantify the rappers that I nullify is easy being dope when the rest of them are borderline man I really love it when they talk about Poe. Whatever Ladi Po has offered a verse it comes with the highest quality His obsession with lyrical perfection is so comprehensive that he is discussed with reverence in every mainstream hip hop conversation in Nigeria I don't care about your top 5 your metaphors or the cup size or the baby sway you're not blaming who loves all my punchlines when I'm right by the front line attacking my goals like a false nine After years of praise by fans to release a full album his 2018 debut album Talk About Poe TAP offered a project to house his sublime talent. On TAP, he traverses multiple genres with finesse, interweaving traditional hip hop instrumentation with fusions of dancehall and high life. He is one of those super talented rappers out there that are still be underrated. Number 6 Kid Tinny. Tin is the youngest rapper on this list. You can't be a lover of laid-back rap without knowing of Tinny. I wasn't ready. 
And I know it's no excuse, I'm sad to say, but it's the truth. That's not my lack of love for you, I wasn't ready. The 19-year-old South African rapper could rub shoulders with many of Africa's best without breaking a sweat. And yes, Kid Tennis flaws will remind you of Nasty C. She asked me, Junior, do you like it when I cry? Huh? But with great poise and zeal, this 19-year-old raps with precision and depth of someone twice his age. Diversity certainly versus I'm able to shape shift out of this world with the pen like I came in a space. Tini's distinct flow, rhythm and cadence has gained him critical praise from well-known online blogs and magazines. Sadly, many people have never heard of Tini. Number five, aka Keys. On a mission to the top, and I'm feeling like I'm Park resurrected with Nas and a little bit of Andre, a little bit of Eminem, a little bit of Kanye, a little bit of Biggie with a bit of Belafonte. Keys had lived in eight different countries before finally settling the UK. After shuffling through three continents, the Sudanese rapper has released Wait for Me, as well as collaborating with fellow Sudanese rappers such as Omar Majid, G Saleh, and Eddie Proof on Sudania. My people fighting the books of pay killers, going in militias that been ordered to kill them by the niggas sitting hoarding the gold and the riches so they late getting fatter. You mean Prolessly summarizing the sentiments of many young Sudanese citizens. Number four, a race. Money the third time, then I estimated for the last season. They already put in our records, they kept for the fourth quarter, man, it's that serious. Last a race is like no other South African rappers among his peers. He kills beats with cadence like no other rapper in this category. So with me, they true colors only left me pale. Been running laps two summers. That was dope. The sway in the morning right there. A race is dope, man. I can't. Man, he needs to blow up, man. They need. Whatever. Even left the trail, rewriting history, everything in brand. A race has been on every single sci-fi in SA and beyond. Call him the T.I. of South African rap. The talented rapper has two albums, six EPs, and an account. My dog, man, making all that noise. All right, anyways. Double singles. In 2018, a race was one of the top three most streamed South African hip-hop artists. Number three, Vector. Vector is one of the most invisible forces behind Nigerian rap. There is a movement out there who actually believe that Vector is better than MI when it comes to lyricism, wordplay, cadence, and personality. But what do you think? Leave us a comment down there. Sometime in this sermon, I'll say some uncomfortable facts to show his fans their goat is really a rat. Vector has three studio albums to his name. For the mixtapes and singles, we can't count them. He's one hell of a gifted rapper only a few know about. Oh my gosh, commercial. But Lyrical Joe. I analyzed this shit and got the answer. I know him. I realize what it takes to be a star in Cameroon is what it takes to be underground in Ghana. Ah! LJ is one of the versatile rappers making waves around Africa right now because of his metaphors, similes, and undeniably genius wordplay. Put this year in your eyes. If I'm not top five, the numbers finally lied. My lines cross lines is crucifix when I write the muscle cipher was slippery, but I would never let it slide. Lyrical J, also known as LJ, grew up listening to the likes of Eminem, Lil Wayne, and Nas, which is pretty obvious if you listen to his rhyme scheme. Due to his ability to easily switch between flow patterns, the young Ghanaian rapper has started having a name for himself in the hearts of many lovers of hip hop all around Africa. Honorable mentions of the Pizzo. Hey, where one burglary? She don't like it, but you heard of me. I'm a hot boy. Maki too. Number one, Cow De Nero. Fire. <laughs> I gotta pause it. Sierra Leone. Okay. Number one, top underrated. Kai. You might think, oh, Sierra Leone is a small country, but the army Cardinero has a mass for himself quite lately will give you the shock of your life. Eradicate those amateurs who play with kids like Santa Claus. Keep my name out your mouth. The narrow far from Frost. He has every reason to be on the top of this list. The Sierra Leonean rapper has one of the hardest and baddest flow in African hip hop. Don't be fooled by his choice of wardrobe. He may not look like it on the outset, but that has nothing to do with the number of bars he's been spitting lately. Who gave you the audacity to even try to battle with me? Blue nigga is still a swallow or beat. You're probably still living with your mom's though. Cardinero has called up many rappers who claim to be the best in Africa, such as one of Ghana's own, Sakodier. 
Crew Cali Grab Jones, Sakori and Nema. Niggas ain't the best from Africa, this rapper's too lot. I bring the heat so Cow is the best in the small country of Sierra Leone and has also been called the king of Freetown. After a successful album, the same title was released. Other albums include Freetown's Most Wanted and A New Beginning. All suffering, frustration, agitation due to amputation. Less education, little kids carrying ammunition. Or for squad, do you agree with the list? Leave us a comment down there. Let me know how you guys feel, all right? Top 10, underrated. So, underrated, know about Kai. Uh, know about Lyrical, know about Aries, and that's it. The other seven, well, and the honorable mentions, I never heard of them. I don't think. Those are the only three I that can come to my mind right now. Kai, Reese, and Lyrical. I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel about that, all right? I know this video is kind of long. But anyways, let me know how you guys feel, alright? We up out of here, alright? Let me know what you guys feel, alright? We up out of here, we up out of here.